What it do, world? It's your boy Mike T here on the Man Cave Sports Podcast. Hey, you already know what time it is. Drop that beat. Count. your boy Mikey T here in the Man K Sports Podcast. Yes, it's Mike T, the return of me. Hey, man, I'm here with my guys on the Man K Sports Podcast with my guy, Jay Jones. He is on my left right now, but probably to y'all, he's on my right. I don't remember. But Jay Jones, how you doing, man? Feeling good, feeling great. Glad to be back. Hey, then I got my man G Money. He's on the other right or left. Who knows? But you're watching the show. What's up, G-Money? What's up? What's up, fellas? Let's get this shit. Hey, man. Oh, damn. Okay. Well, just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe maybe retake this. Maybe start over. <laughs> no, no, no. We're going to keep it. Then we got Wildcard Mark. Every time I say something, Wildcard Mark reacts. <laughs> He's like wrestling. I get the pop from Wildcard Mark. Pause. Hey, bro. Hey, yes. man. <laughs> Wildcard Mark, how's it doing, man? Hey, man. You already know how it is, man. Glad to uh, be back talking sports with my guys. So, hey, I'm good, man. I'm Gucci. Yes, and then we got Mike McCarthy's brother, Hybrid. How you doing? First of all, I'm not Mike McCarthy's brother. I'm Jimmy Johnson's nephew. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Second of all, this is a vintage 90s. Yeah. Ring Second of honor, of baby. Ring of honor I, I for Jimmy Johnson. The, I wasn't joining on the code. I'm talking about the headpiece, because you got the headpiece in. And you, <laughs> Uh, uh, run zig right 92 escort not four. 30, 32 hey. dive on three and you better <laughs> make this you better make this Dak. tell the defense you need good. to step it up hey, hey, dog, uh, you can tell that we're all old because he said 32 uh, dive <laughs> now 32 <laughs> dive is z26 39 hey, i don't i can't see that terminology but yeah i'm good y'all man been a tough day today's been a tough day man but i'm good i'm gonna push through i'm gonna push through yeah man we hey listen man we are here for another week we had the week off for uh, thanksgiving um i remember that mm -hmm. i totally forgot that because wild card mar uh said it yesterday on the four corners recording and i remembered it so i had to get all how was everybody's break man too long oh, man. Man, it's cool it's cool and now, it was what it, it was. To, to me, it didn't really feel like Thanksgiving. No. Not Am I the only one that felt like that? Well, first of all, it was too <laughs> long because it was it was so much sports that had happened that I know we would have kirked on and we definitely would have you know. But I was like, damn, bro. Like, yo, me and my guys would have tore this topic up. But I'm like, we'll let y'all live. We'll let y'all live. I'm not going to lie. I got home at like 8.30 and turned on my computer and forgot. <laughs> so we weren't recording. So <laughs> that's the my, love right there. That's the love of the podcast. I took myself to sleep. <laughs> but yeah. three fifths of the, the podcast this Saturday. Actually, no, four fifths of the podcast this Saturday. We was in the Twitter space. This is a hot topic. I know this is not a traditional sports show, but look in my eyes. <laughs> What do you see? <laughs> the Colts up. Hey. Nality. No, the Oracle be my ET. <laughs> Listen, my main <laughs> man came back. C M Punk. Punk. I know you guys, most of y'all don't. Well, actually, no. Three fifths of us, well, actually, four fifths of us now, admittedly, still watch wrestling. I think G probably still watch wrestling. He don't want to tell nobody. But Quickly, what do you guys think? I know y'all heard my reaction. <laughs> I told y'all. I told y'all. We would have made a million views if I would have taken my reaction, bro. Bruh, that shit Should've. was wild. I was watching it with my kids, and we all just, we all went wild, man. We, Randy Orton came out first, and then CM Punk. Like, I, I was like, damn, I, I, the pause, I was like, for him to come out, I was I was excited, man. I ain't gonna lie. Bye. I ain't gonna lie to you. That 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 women's match. 
that women's match was all of that. Big yeah, ups yeah. to the women's division. Y'all yeah. did y'all thing. Next pay per view, G, you gotta watch with the four corner boys, man, because it was definitely dope. We had uh, I had fun. I yeah, had fun. I, we watched the whole pay- like literally we was only supposed to go like an hour before the pay per view, and we watched we just, the pay per view together, like literally on the phone on the Twitter spaces. Just together watch it. It was a dope experience. I wanted That's to bring dope. that up. For the I see y'all had y'all had a bunch of people on the Twitter spaces. That was, that was, that yeah, was dope. Yeah, we did. At one point in time, we did have a good number, my number of people on the Twitter spaces. So thank y'all to that supported it. Hey, if you did not see it or hit, well, you couldn't see it, but if you didn't hear it, man, I don't know if it's still out there somewhere, but if it is, man, I cried. I was in here. Whoop! <laughs> I was go- my TV was a- uh, before theirs, G. So I just started screaming out of nowhere, and they was like, "Oh shit, was something happening?" And I just started screaming. <laughs> but moving on, man, another hot topic out here, man. Woo! This is hot. This is a hot seat topic right here. Hot boy, hot boys. Malika Andrews. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, we're going there first, y'all. Um. <laughs> Let me put the she been criticized on. by Dez Bryant and others about her handling of the Josh Giddy situation. Um, and honestly, I don't know what to personally feel. Um, I'm swaying a certain way, but swaying back the other way because I understand both sides. Um, I'm going to go to our resident Malika Andrews specialist hybrid. <laughs> Yeah, see, I put the shades on, I put the Cartier's on, you know what I mean, just so I can block the haters out right now in my segment. Dear Malika Andrews, Uh-oh. you're very beautiful, very pretty, very articulate, you speak very well. You still have a little knowledge of the game, a lot of knowledge of the game, actually. I can't question that. But what I can question is your motives for the things that you do. So I'm going to need you to be a little bit more fair than what you've been. Because you've reported on rumors before. Now, some of my man cave, you know, brothers have educated me on other stuff. But, you know, I'm just going to need you to keep that same energy. Now, I can respect the fact that all the facts haven't come out yet. And you don't want to speak on it. Cool. Oh, but when they do. When they do. If you don't scream to the goddamn mountaintops, take a goddamn flare, and go like this. That's your ass, Mr. Postman. That's that. Shady McCoy. Oh, oh. Shut your bench right and Woo. didn't do nothing for the Super Bowl ring ass up. Woo. You had crazy work and got you nothing when you were the man. That's all. What, 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 Shady, what Shady say? Oh, he just always says shit about the Cowboys and says Dak's oh. not a good quarterback <laughs> and you know stuff like that. You know, oh, you see that hat shade? You see it? You see, it. Listen, see if, no, if nobody else is going to tell you shut the hell up, I'm going to say shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. Hey, can we can we get a Dak for MVP? Can we get a Dak for MVP? Oh, no, 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 time no. Out, no. Time out, time out. Is it, is it too early? Let me oh, make this oh, show oh. like Tony Reality. Too early. Stop muting y'all. Don't do it. Don't do it. Hit the button, Don't do it. Don't do it. You gave me the floor. No, 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 no. I gave you the floor for Malika. And then you would I let you get with Sly with Shady. I got a list. I got a We is not list. about to go with the Dak praise yet. Not yet. I just know. I'm not, it's not about I'm saying this. Let me so Joy Taylor. Oh, he doesn't snap. want you, baby. He doesn't want you, baby. Get over it. He didn't take you to the award show. Yeah, okay. And then last but not least, hey, hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. Why are you putting <laughs> on my baby Joy? Hey, hey. She always be hating on Dak. <laughs> yeah. Told you. Hey, man, moving on with the show, man. Hey, this this, 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 this it's just a hard right there. This <laughs> is Stephen A. We, this is, I was trying Do to this, get Stephen him. A. Oh, Lord, he's still going. Do this, Stephen A. Listen. Where is it at? Oh, Where is it at? Stephen A. All right, that's it. Listen, Stephen hey, A. Hey, hey, you being nice, you got to start, like, back here, but, like, right? There, like, <laughs> <laughs> he got that George Jefferson with him. This is preposterous. <laughs> <laughs> hey, make sure make sure y'all cut that and, and add him on every social media joint, man. This is preposterous and abnormal. Do that. Do that. Uh, <laughs> of the like, chill out, man. Anywho, hey, man, listen, we're starting the show off, man. How we always start the show. I, 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 I just let him get his. You know what I'm saying? I try to give him the D Wade to LeBron. He had a soliloquy. That, and that's on. And that's is I had, I had a soliloquy for Stephen A. I, I, just, I so eloquently exuberated. What a podcast is supposed to 
identify as. Let's yeah. expeditiously get the star business. Expedite. <laughs> Um, hey, listen, man. Y'all know how we do, how we kick it off. Star bitch and cut. We doing the kickers. We doing the kickers right now. Uh, we got. We Jeff- talk about kickers. Yeah, We're man. Talking we, about we talk kickers. about everybody on this show, man. We talk about everybody on this show, man. We talking about <laughs> Justin Tucker, Adam Vinatieri, Stephen Gauskowski. I don't know how I said that, but I did it. Yes. Hey, Jay Jones. Who you starting? Who you benching? Who you cutting? Hey, and you got a kicker clock, 40 seconds. Hey, I'm starting Justin Tucker. I'm benching Vinatieri, and I'm cutting Gaskowski. Got you. Oh. Got you. Got you. Hey, G Money. I mean, this is the man cave. We don't have any kickers in our fantasy league, so we can cut them all. Nah. <laughs> but nah, hey, I'm start, starting Vinatieri, benching Justin Tucker. He's from Baltimore Ravens, and um, Gaskowski, you, you, you out. As you mentioned, our uh, man came fantasy league. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Hey, hey, we we talk about kickers here. We talk about kickers here. <laughs> he wants to. He, he wants to. He wants to blow. Right? He, he, he wants to blow. He wants to blow. Wild card, Mar. What you got? Oh, and he and he typically went to Wild Card Mar. Yeah. So he mm-hmm. just throw it, throw a shade. I, 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 I see the shade. I, no, this no, going see, on. I this is not, I'm telling you, don't make I me turn it. into Tony Reale. <laughs> y'all not about to do this to me tonight. Y'all jumped me last week. The last time we recorded, y'all Dude. jumped me. It's on footage. It's, it's full footage. Oh. It's true. Hey, first, hey her throat, Drip, I was trying to be on your side, but I kind of felt like you, you threw a shot at me when you, when you said fantasy and you came to me. Like, what you trying to yeah. say? Because I whooped you. I whooped you. What you he's mad at me to, for? He's trying to say that. That's what you trying to what say. What you mad at me? Hey, listen, man. I, I don't coach the X's and O's. I coach the drip. Baby, and coach drip ain't even here right now. I'm chilling. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, hey, he sound like he sound like fifty. He said, "Why, why Floyd say fuck me? Why say that fifty? I'm chilling right now, bro. All right, I'm trying to be on my host and stuff. Listen, you guys are trying to make it so that if ESPN see me hosting, they'll never hire me. What are you doing? <laughs> I have so, no control over these animals. Yeah, these guys I mean, they're in prison and they're trying to run the asylum. Please. Go ahead, uh, wild card, ma. Hey, I'm about real... to you, until next time, I'm giving, I'm docking points. <laughs> what you do, like, Woody Page? Hey, anyway, to me, this is a this is a no brainer, bro. It's Adam Vinatieri who the guy is responsible for two of Tom Brady's Super Bowls, and we ain't talking about no other kicker. All right, that's it. Justin Tucker, I like you. You you accurate, but you you've been kind of shaky this year, though. I saw you miss a couple of field goals this season. Uh, uh, you know, very unusual, but come on, until you win Super Bowls, what are we talking about? Is Adam Vinatieri or nobody else on this start bench and cut? I'm cutting the other two. I'm starting Adam. Okay. Hi, Brett. Go ahead. Jump, jump in here. Pause. Well, I'm not going to be as dramatic as Wild Card Mob, but he just wanted to, he just wanted to get his point across because you just called him out for fantasy. You know, I mean, I understand it. Nah, yeah. he didn't call me out. He threw a jab at me and tried to do it. Yeah, 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 he definitely, fantasy, he definitely, he definitely, he definitely, football, he definitely fantasy. Rope, you? He definitely rope dope you a little bit, like. Hey, you know hey! Man? If you don't know, we we do have a fantasy football league for the Man K Sports Podcast, and we're gonna have a magnificent belt for the champion. Yeah. Listeners, make sure you apply next year. Hey man, if I win that, but now you I, better hope I don't win. Ooh. <laughs> just think two pockets. Man. Just think two pockets, Shawn Michaels. Oh, oh man. man! Oh, that, that's that's a bad that's a bad combination. <laughs> I, I'm a, I'm doing the same. Pause. I'm um what starting. I'm I'm starting <laughs> Vinatieri, benching Tucker, and cutting Gostowski. I'm starting in the Terry for every single reason that my man Wildcard said, because my man got Brady his first ring. Without him, yeah, uh, you don't get that, sir. And you don't start, he doesn't start the train. You know what I'm saying? Then Justin Tucker, he got a cannon foot. You know what I mean? He can kick from, and he's pretty accurate. You know, like you say, he hasn't been this season. You know what I mean? That's the same thing as, I ain't going to say that because I don't say it. it was, you know, when the Cowboys had a kick at one point in time, he was good and he wasn't accurate. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So I get it. As they get older, you know what I mean? Um, I forgot the guy's name. It was a few years ago. Not uh, Zuckerberg, but the other guy. Um, Bailey. Dane Bailey. You know what I mean? So as they get older, you know what I mean? They're going to lose their they shine. And then Gostowski, yeah, come on now. Why do we have, is anybody going to start 
or or put him on the bench over the two in this nah. Oh, you know what I mean? Got you. So listen, man. Speaking of Tom Brady, I don't want to be the only one that comments on this one. Mm. Tom, shut your ass up. <laughs> shut up. They're soft, they're soft because of you. Tom Brady made some comments about how he don't like the game and he don't like watching the game and the game is soft. Or oh, he didn't really say soft, but he said soft. Uh, he said mediocre. Medi- yeah, medi- he said mediocrity. mediocrity. Yeah, he said yeah. mediocrity. Woo, 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 woo. Hey, Tom, we talked about this on the hybrid show. The exact moment where the game got soft or changed is when you got hurt the year after y'all went undefeated and Matt Castle had to take over. Tuck rule, too. No, I was going to say that. I, I, I said, I said, I was gonna, gosh dang it, let me rob the bus. I was about to oh, throw man. you the okay. hoop and say, on the hybrid show, the hybrid, the, the, the hybrid what? said the tuck rule. I was, I have this in my mental bank. Well, Drip said that I said. Yeah, that was drip on that show. Anywho, <laughs> anywho, yes, he brought up the tuck rule. The tuck rule was also another Tom Brady situation where they changed the game up for quarterbacks. So, Tom Brady, from me to you, and I'm gonna let my guys jump in here. I'm just playing as well, as you know, saying that. But Tom Brady, shut up, man. It's your fault. It's you. You're the reason why they go easy on quarterbacks. And to a certain degree, sometimes it's a good thing, sometimes it's a bad thing. But you got the ultimate cause. They couldn't breathe around you At after all. a certain point. So come on, man. You benefited from these rules. You you're one of the few, you're one of the few athletes in the game. Like when a Charles Barkley complains about a rule in the NBA, or when a Shaq complains, complains about a rule in the NBA, those rules are changed after they're playing, their playing days. So if they get to have a gripe about a rule saying, man, if I played in this day, I'd average because they didn't get those rules. You changed the rules and got affected by the full changes. Right then and there. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta relax, bro. You own a team. Shut your up. You know what? This is sucker-ish. And it's a wild stat because it's a wild stat. It's because your punk self got, what you call it? And and there's a G money back because I bet you're going to say something else stupid. You need to go get your gazelle back. Oof. Oof. You know I don't like Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Hey, y'all on. said I was taking shots. This is no, 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 no. I done told y'all. I would see this is why I'm awkward. I told y'all Tom Brady would. What I tell y'all when Tom Brady went back to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, what was gonna happen? That woman said, "Hell no, I'm out of here." I said that on this show. Hey. Tom Brady don't know little little Jason name or whatever his name is. <laughs> Me and Tom Brady probably think the same name of his. Never mind. We talk. We, we talk of marriage counseling on the show now, what or y'all sports. We got to think about Tom, about Tom Brady's recent comments, y'all. <laughs> they already done. <laughs> hey, it, the message was right. It was just the messenger was wrong. He was the wrong person to say it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I'm you saying. already said, he benefited from all the a majority of the rule changes. So we can't even hit a quarterback now, and it's because, in part, to him. So. <laughs> You can't hit a quarterback right. low, high, middle, left, right. They might as well wear the practice jerseys on game day. <laughs> the red, the red, 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 red ones. G yeah. money, what you thinking here, man? I, I actually think he was the right guy to bring it up because he's considered the GOAT, right? So he has the most respect out of pretty much all the players that have played, are playing, and have are going to be playing pretty much. So to come out of his mouth and say that, NFL should take notice about it. I feel like a little bit more. And I mean, we've all said it. Everything's being soft. Everything's being flagged. It's so technical. Defensive players don't don't even know how to tackle. They know how to tackle, but they're not allowed to tackle that way because that's how it was taught to everybody tackling. And it's just, it's getting a little out of hand and stuff. So he's trying to reel it in and everything. So Okay, let me put that advocate to your point, G, real quick, and then we're going to move on. If the NFL listened to Tom Brady, and they eased up on the rules on the quarterbacks. And he benefited from it. <laughs> Jalen Hurts, we, you got to see me when you see me, Tom. Dak, you got to see me, Tom. You got, whenever you come out to a football event, you got to see me. You <laughs> benefited from these rules. Now you want to And now you're talking about they saw. And now I got to get, I got to deal with it because they changed the rules up for me so they can just hit me any kind of way they want to hit me. Oh, no, nah, you got to see me. 
You got to see me. Yeah. We got to start. I, gotta... Go I, I, I kind of got to disagree with you, G, on this one. And, and I was so crazy. Say, I'm, I disagree because although you would think he would be the right person qualified to talk about it, and you're, you're 100% right, he is one of the most respected players in this game. But like the guy said, okay, why didn't you say this when you were benefiting? Why yeah. weren't you saying this when you got the tuck rule or when they, you know what I mean, you got injured? Like, it's pretty convenient so to say it now. Cool, you and got some rings, but shut up. And, 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 right, and that's what and that's, that's what their point is. It's like, you benefited from it and you got, you're the, the most winningest quarterback in NFL history. Cool, and now... And, and now, now that you're out the game and not playing no more, you want us to be able to take the so, same hits that Troy Aikman hit that took. Little, little, little devil's advocate on top of that. Y'all saying devil's how, um, yeah, double, double down, double down. <laughs> so when Tom Brady talks about how the games change, and I mean Michael Jordan, he never talks about how he'd be scoring a lot more points in this t- day and age or anything That's why like he that. How it was hard and how it was harder back then, right? He never says anything like that. Or other people do? No, other people do, but the, he don't really. Mm. MJ okay. don't say nothing. MJ don't, it's, first of all, MJ says it's unfair to compare errors. He's yeah, he always said that. He, he said that when he was. So let, let's, let's, the GOAT has spoken. Yeah. Hey, I, I agree. I agree. MJ, MJ's a GOAT. No doubt. <laughs> I just said it on the show that he's the GOAT. And y'all know how I be arguing against him sometimes, but I just said it on the show. He's the GOAT. So he doesn't. Shout say- out to all you bronze sexuals. Okay, we are gonna move on, man. Cause this, this show we're all off the rails. I promise hey, yo. you. I promise you. If y'all keep making me like this is not a Tesla, bro. This is like like we like in a, 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 a car right now. Like we're trying to get to to to, to, to this somewhere. But anyway, hey, the command, the commander. Hey, did, did you really just get me like that, dog? I mean, you. I just figured. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. I figured that you didn't care. Nah, nah. <laughs> your quarterback gets the benefit off the east, so I mean, he definitely. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! Just because you whip me in fantasy, man, you ain't gonna just get me like See, that. See, man, you keep bringing that fantasy football, <laughs> fantasy, fantasy. Remember that hey, Eli commercial? Hey, hey, but but I'm I'm gonna make it quick. I, I see both of y'all point because I'm I'm with y'all where it's like, yo, he did benefit from all the rule changes, but and here's here's why he's able to speak on it because look how long his career was. So he played in just about all the different eras of football. So he can't like firsthand speak to the difference between when he started in 2000 to when he retired, uh, what last year, 2022. So he can, he can, he, he, you know, firsthand experiences to speak on a different change on the other game. But I'm with y'all, you know, you, you benefited the most, so it's kind of weird that he he did say it though. Listen, if Joe Montana said this, I wouldn't be mad. If Dan Marino said it, I wouldn't be mad. Right, Tom Brady, shut up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like they changed all the rules while That's you true. were playing. Yes, <laughs> every last is. one of them you were playing, they changed the rules, bro. He's yeah. a part. He's a part owner now, though. So matter of fact, in the last yeah, that makes it even worse. You are gonna get your quarterback? That's like the whoever. The, Who's the quarterback for the Raiders? We don't even know. Aiden O'Connell. Aiden O'Connell. Who? Aiden Me. O'Connell. Who? Aiden O'Connell. You keep Me. saying the name, but I keep telling who because I'm not. <laughs> I'm being facetious right now. Mike Jones. <laughs> yeah, Mike like Jones. Like, you know, <laughs> the dude for the Raiders. We don't know who he is. He didn't set not yet. Up. Shut I'll up. Be out Tom. There this week. <laughs> Tom be snitching, man. Tom like Tom like Bodie from the Wire. <laughs> Got everything that you wanted out of this game, and you still complaining. Shut up. Moving on. Basically, command of the room at the five line of it. <laughs> Go ahead, and get y'all jokes off. What y'all? What they waiting on? Okay, that's you. I didn't skip you this time. Go ahead. Anybody else? <laughs> I mean, we kind of. I mean, we kind of had a feeling that that was going to happen when they brought in Eric B. Enemy, but I mean, it is what it is. He had a decent run with him. Thank you for your professional take. Next. You know. Should have been hit. Okay, yeah, I mean, for your direct take. Hey, like like we like we said off the beginning of the season, pretty much. Once Eric Bieniemy got hired, he was the head coach, pretty much. But hey, speaking of rumors, 
it's not a for sure thing that he actually will be the head coach when Ron Rivera gets let go as he's not getting the stamp of approval from all the players in that locker room for that job. Yeah, because they're losers. You know what I say? <laughs> hey, I'm not I, I, I'm not arguing that part. You know what I say about the whole commander's team? <laughs> I done said it in the NBA. Shit, they ass to China, man. <laughs> Hey, that's your squad. Team. That's your squad, man. Oh, this, gee, stop. We didn't make your squad. Weeks and I you said you back yet. in the NFL. You back gee, in the NFL, baby. Gee, gee, stop. It's been 13 weeks. I haven't said yeah, commanders yet. <laughs> Never. You said you said, said you said it, you said it the first first week. You definitely did. Maybe that's it. Well, hey, where, where's that? Where's that progressive flag throw? Right. It's just, let's let's roll the tape <laughs> back. Pretty <laughs> challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I also said I was an NFL free agent and I didn't really have a team. I've been saying that say consistently that. from the beginning. You're not going to stick me with them until they go back to DC. Well, why I'm haven't you chose a team yet? You've been watching football for 13 weeks. Huh? Why Who's I your thought? team? Who's the your team, team then? Ain't Which no one? Under, ain't no team he's is undefeated. The, he's the fan of the players. Yeah, if there's no, end of, there's no undefeated teams. If it was an undefeated so, team, that would be my team. <laughs> I can't. Don't hey, don't don't raise your know? kids like him, y'all. Hey, listen. You want to be winners? You you kids out there want to be winners? You want to be losers, man? Come on, man, be the winner. Hey, listen. You can change your team every day. Don't care what these people say. Do what you do. Anyway, moving on. Speaking of changes, change. the Panthers fired Matt Frank Wright. He only lasts a year. This is messed up. Jack DeRio got fired. Thank you. And Matt Canada got fired too. What y'all think about that? Jump in here. Anybody can jump in here. Listen, we're not going to talk about this too long because all these firings probably were supposed to happen. Hey, all I'm going to say is stop recycling these coaches, man. They got fired multiple times for a reason. Move on and get some new blood in the, in the NFL, man. Stop bringing these coaches back. Yes, that's a good point. Good point. Good point. Uh, Frank Wright. I mean, that's that's tough getting first, first year on the job. You know, that's never fun. Jack Del Rio defense was no good. Um, Matt Canada after he's gone, Pittsburgh has one of the best offensive performances of the season, pretty much. So, I mean, these are firings that should have happened. Najee Harris is obviously happy about it, but he didn't perform that great anyways. But we'll see what happens the rest of the season for all these guys and teams. Anybody else, man? Hey, uh, hey, Keith, let's keep it a buck. Uh, Frank Wright shouldn't have even got hired. Uh, but uh, I will say this: he doesn't, he wasn't put in a good position to succeed anyway. So, yeah, uh, that sucks for him. But he, he should have never been hired. Uh, Jack Dario, like like the other fella said, I mean, when when your defense is trash, uh, it, yeah, you got to go. Um, Matt Canada, your offense was trash. Uh, you got to go. So. Uh, all of them were justified, so. Hopper, you got anything or you don't care? I don't care. Especially, <laughs> about, Jack, especially about Jack Del Rio. Okay, moving on. <laughs> so, week 12 recap real quick, man. Um, I had the Broncos and the Browns. Hey, man. Sean Payton saying, hey, listen. Y'all forgot about me. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm named Sean. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. That was a big one. Um, wild card. You had the Jaguars and the Texans. Yeah, man. I I thought that was a. It was pretty much a battle for first place in the South, AFC South. Um, had the uh, Texans won it, uh, they would have had the same record. Uh, and it would have had uh, the Texans would have had the. Uh, they would have swept the Jaguars, so they they had the automatic first place. So now they're six and five. They would have been seven and four, and so so would the Jaguars. But um, it was a good game. Uh, I just wish, uh, uh, you know, CJ Stroud and the boys could have pulled it off. I, I like what they're doing. Good story, but uh, Jacksonville didn't quit, man. So uh, you know, now they got a two game lead on the division. So it was very competitive. Uh, it went down to the last wire. Uh, the kicker just missed a, a long field goal, but. You know, Texans kind of shot themselves in the foot. Dope game, though. Yeah, they had that all red on. Yeah. It's yeah. looking real drippy. Yeah, uh, drippy of the trip, man. Hey, Jay Jones, you had the Eagles and the Bills, man. Man, this was this was another, you know, one of those classic finishes, classic games involved 
course, Josh Allen. Um, a lot of people, you know, got on. I don't want to say got on him, but, you know, made fun of him because he's old. I think he hasn't won a game in overtime. I think he's 0-5. The, the Eagles played bad in the first half. The Bills didn't – they didn't convert on certain – they missed, I think, two field goals or a field goal. Um, Jalen Hurts, man, like, hey, he turned it on in the second half. They did what they needed to do. Josh Allen and Gabe Davis, man, they couldn't connect. And when, once they had to kick that field goal, I said, man, this is a done deal, man. And um, let's not forget that field goal that uh, Jake Elliott – I think that's his name. J- Jake Elliott kicked, what was it, like a 60, 60 – Five, six, one, or something like. Yeah, that. that that was a ugly. It was ugly, but it went through. And I was like, once it's going to overtime, it's it's game over, man. Philly's gonna win this, and they did, man. Jalen Hurts, clutch, came down the field, did what he needed to do, and hey, they got the win. Josh Allen on the on the bad side of history, one more time. Mm-hmm. You I actually don't think it was his fault, though. It wasn't, but it's the defense, man. Mm-hmm. In my opinion. But yeah, let's go, G buddy. What you got, man? Hey, got gobble, day. gobble, 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 motherfuckers, man. Hey, <laughs> Washington Commanders. I know y'all didn't enjoy y'all's turkey as much as us Dallas Cowboys fans. All the sides and all the helpings and all the extras, the leftovers. Well, we just took all that, all that from y'all, man. It was a wonderful, wonderful day in my house watching my Dallas Cowboys. Thoroughly dominate the Washington Commanders on our Thanksgiving Day, which we do football every year in Dallas. And it was beautiful. 45-10, absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness. Jack for MVP, baby. And hey, let's not forget, put Deron Bland in the defensive M- defensive MVP oh, category. No. Oh no, hold up, G. Slow hey. down. Hey. Hey, he's, he's he's getting hey, we're recording live right now, Thursday night. He's getting fried a couple times. Don't get it twisted. A couple All safety right. helps could have helped the first drive. The first drive that could have helped the big time. I'm safety. just saying, slow hey, down. Listen, hey, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When you were set, when you were hey, setting records, you were setting records. Me, Tony, re- I got my hand on the mouse. Setting records, baby. Setting records. I knew y'all were gonna come in with this damn cowboy BS. MVP. So a hybrid, I'm guessing you want to gloat too. It's it's the it's the commanders. Oh my goodness. Um I knew it. It's the commanders. Uh it's nothing to gloat about. But um the Patriots losing to the Giants. Yeah, he cost they cost me a thousand dollars. That was oh, a, snap. That, that was, was a game, bro. You just said that loud. Anyway, that was... his, 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 his name's not. No, I will. Hold on. No, I'm talking about G. Giants. Yeah, no, nah, I know he's on. But um, I was surprised. I'm like, hmm. Like, you can't get this one? Like, against what's his name? Uh, what's his? He, he was Tommy a funny Tommy guy. Tommy DeVito. Tommy, he played for the Cowboys, too. And I, it's crazy. I can't remember his name. But yeah. And you lost to, to DeVito. You know what I mean? But hey. It is what it is, you know. I mean, Bill Belichick. I think you're on the hot seat, and the day you oh. get fired, it may not be this year, maybe next season, because you're gonna suck next season too. Uh, I th- I think I'll the Patriots are, Patriots are doing Patriots things, and they are secretly blowing it right here and trying to get that Caleb Williams pick. I don't blame them because they keep benching Mac Jones and putting Bailey Zappi with the last three minutes of the game. It's like the weirdest thing ever. Like oh, they man. let Mac Jones play the have... whole year. They keep I mean, losing the like they losing Caleb Williams going to go to the, go 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 right back to USC. Did, but then he had yep. three picks though. Yeah, yeah Mac Jones threw some picks. I think at least two. At least yeah, two. I think they got a bunch of picks for real. Um, but you know that concludes our Cowboy segment of the show um, <laughs> for the week twelve. Um, week 13, we got some good games going on. Um, I'm going to go with Hybrid first. What you looking at first this week? As we speak, I'm looking at the Cowboys and the Seahawks. Okay, moving on, y'all. Speak. Yes, yes. The Cowboys, yes. More Cowboys. Woo! Man, this show's about to be like undisputed in the first take in like two months, man. Damn. Um, I'm tired the hate of is real, man. The hate is real, man. The can I teach? Hey, listen. Ain't the Super Bowl champion. This man don't even gloat about the Chiefs as much as y'all gloat about the damn Cowboys. 
We're not gloating. You asked me what game I'm looking at, and I'm sending you the game that I'm currently looking at. Man, you could have said the no. damn, the damn. You could have said the Montreal Monarchs the versus the damn. <laughs> <laughs> you could have said against. Go watch the Scottish Claymores in the Berlin. <laughs> I can't. I Buffaloes, bro. <laughs> So I can't with y'all. what game you looking for? I see you got uh, Bengals Jags, man. That's an interesting one. I do got a different one. I got mo- Monday night game Bengals Jags. Jags have been on a roll right now. Oh, yeah, no, wait, 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 wait. You said this Monday? Monday coming up? Yeah. I think that guy is that the game that got flexed? Nah, that's not the game that got flexed. Oh, it's, oh, it, 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 actually, it might have. No, no, no. Uh, it's, it was, nah, it was, it was, it was, it was the Chiefs and Pats game that got flexed. Chiefs Patriots the first Monday night football game to get flexed. Thank goodness. Oh yeah. my god. How the Patriots so, yeah. got on Monday? Oh, that's a different story. Go ahead, Bang, Bengals, Bengals and Jags. Jags have been on a roll. They are, have the second best record in the NFL, technically speaking, at eight and three with a lot of other teams. And so that's that's pretty unique for the Jaguars down there, man. Um, see if they can stay on this roll. And hey, you know what? I, I've always been saying is, man, get the Bengals out the playoff race, man. Oh yeah, you, yeah. You've been you've been a Bengal hater as long as the pie has been, been going. You've been a Bengal. Hater. You you got this year. You probably got this year. This year it's happening. <laughs> Bengals, no playoffs. Hey man, that's hilarious. Who they? Who they? Hey yeah, yeah. Jay Jones. Who you got this week, man? Hey man, I got the Eagles and the Forty ers Man, look, repeat of the NFC championship game man a lot of smack has been talked between these two teams they've been going at it so hey i got my popcorn ready i'm trying to see what they do jalen hurts do it did what he did last week see what he can do against this 49ers defense and hey 49ers y'all gotta keep brock purdy healthy y'all can't keep complaining we ain't had no quarterback and then it make sure he don't get hit so <laughs> Hey, I'm going to be watching everybody healthy. I, I hope Lane Johnson is able to play, but um, I, I'm I'm waiting for that game. Well, Let's go uh, San Fran. Go ahead, no, what'd you say? You? Let's go 49ers, baby. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, come on, what you got? I see you got the Broncos and the Texans, man. Yeah, man. I, I, I need to see the Texans bounce back, Uh, you know, show that they're a legit uh, contender in this AFC playoff hunt. If they can grab a wild card, uh, or you know, hopefully that the Jaguars kind of slump back and they can catch up in the division. Um, and you know, the Broncos five game winning streak. You know, they was one in five. You know, they got seventy dropped on their head, and we thought they was, you know, Garbaggio. Next, you, you thought know. they were. Nah, everybody right. thought they were, but I thought uh, they was done. I was everybody, messing with Sierra husband. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Hey, 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 G, you definitely need to pull out the progressive. Uh, we, we need, uh, we, need, we, need, we, need a, we need, yeah, <laughs> we, need, we need a playback in there because I, 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 I thought was them Batman's was done. I thought yeah. they was. I told you I don't got no, I don't have no loyalty in the NFL. Hey, I'm just saying they was one in five. They got they got the seventy dropped on their head, so everybody thought they was Garbaggio. So I mean, give them credit. You know, five game winning streak. Uh, unfortunately, my team's one of those uh, does that they got. Uh, you know, um, but nah, it, I just want to see because uh, I think this is gonna be a competitive game. Uh, they both got something to prove. It's gonna be uh, uh, probably uh, one of the better matchups of this week. We're winding down on the NFL season. It's been an amazing season so far. So hopefully it keeps going. Um, everybody has some good solid picks. Um, and I'm going to be watching just all of the games, to be honest with you. I didn't have a pick this week. Not because I didn't put one down. I just couldn't think of just one to put. Um, so Because you don't have a team. <laughs> right. I'm like Drake in the NFL. I don't got no team. I got the home team and whoever's winning. You ain't got the home team. And I don't even got them. I don't like them. <laughs> they got to go back to D.C. If they go back to D.C., then I'm back. But if they don't go back to D.C., I'm not back. I'm not messing with them. And if they, if they, if they go to Virginia, it's over. But hey, <laughs> I'm telling you, if they go to Virginia, every, they, they done. They might, everyone's either going to be a Cowboy fan or a Ravens fan. I'm telling you. That's what's going to happen. If they go to Virginia, it's over for them. They better not. That's why they haven't they pulled the trigger on it. They already know. Landover was shaky when it first happened. That's why they had to change it to Raw John. Yep, I remember that. Anywho, Angel Reese, I have a real big opportunity to be real petty right now, but Angel Reese is back. 
What are y'all thoughts on Angel Reese being back? I'm going to go with G Money first. Um, can we get a reporter to tell us the reason why she wasn't there in the first place? I want I want to I want to get the scoop on this. I mean, you know, I mean, to have pretty much the player 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 of the tournament pretty much last year NCAA championship not play for four games in a row on defending national championships team. Hopefully it wasn't nothing bad. Hopefully nothing too negative or anything like that, but hopefully maybe it, she took that break and she's get focused back on the game and things like that. You know, she's a superstar pretty much at a young age and it's, it's tough. So we will see, we will see. I like to hear more about it though. And I hope she does good on her return. So before I go to uh, the hybrid, I want to say this because I'm always trying to be fair. And I'm always the one when it's Travis Hunter that says she's a kid. So I had to change my thought about Angel Reese because that's why I said I could have been really petty right now. But I had to change my thought about Angel Reese because I always do it for Travis. Why can't I do it for her? We don't know, but do we need to know she's a college kid? Hybrid, what do you think? Hey, Angel. Do what you gotta do, baby. Get back to you. Get back to the person that we, the game that we fell in love with. Because we don't care about the person. We care, you know what I mean? Not saying it like that, but we fell in love with you through your game, through what we saw last year. Get back to that same person. Put this shit behind you. Go ball, baby. Go Tigers. Jay Jones, what you think? Hey, I'm with I'm with hybrid, man. Um, we don't know why she got suspended. I really don't care. Um, I just hope she put it behind her and use it as a learning lesson and she gets back out on the court. She does what she needs to do. And um, you know, I'm wishing her success going forward through the rest of the season. Well, here's where I'll be tripping. I'm like, gee, I do want to know what it is that happened. <laughs> <laughs> I just want. I'm just saying we shouldn't criticize her for whatever. I don't is. think. I don't Y'all think. Y'all like, do want to know what happened though. I ain't gonna hold you. It was weird because she got benched at the end. Like she got benched the second half of a game, and then she was suspended for four games. So it nah, is. She wasn't. Of- she wasn't suspended. Suspended. We don't know I'm what saying, she was. I'm saying she <laughs> yeah. wasn't on the team. She missed four games. So and she missed the Cayman Islands. Yeah, so but she got it's it, it, it's whatever. It seemed like it started from I guess like the second game of the season when she, they benched her in the second half, and it just went on from there. But I mean, it'll probably come out as later on as years pass or something like that. But it's it's really? a real mysterious behind it. I want to know because Coach. if you want the women's sports to be treated like the men's sports, then you have to treat the women's sports like the men's sports. If this was they the, want to go off of that. If, if if we would have known why Travis Hunter was not playing for the last four games, right, he wasn't right. injured. Yeah, that's true. That's so true. that's why I want to know. But at the same time, I agree with you as far as, you know what I'm saying, whatever it is, if it's she ain't attacked nobody or something like that, then, you know what I'm saying, let it go. Let her go get her career back going. You know what I'm saying? And let's keep moving. Uh, why can't Mar jump in here real quick? Hey, real quick, man. I I, I love all your answers because I think it's a it needs to be a, a multi- uh, facet ways to answer this, but a um, she is a kid, uh, so uh, let's not scrutinize her and and take it to you know put her on 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 the cross and try to you know uh, crucify her because she is a kid. Um, there's no telling what we all would do in that situation, being 19, 20, 21 years old with five million, you know, four or five million uh, at your disposal. I know what I do. I be acting a damn fool. Yeah, but so, we don't um, know what she did, though. That's the thing. No, no, well, well, I'm just saying, you know, we don't know the circumstances because she's a kid. You what know? if she hit somebody with a chair? Hey. Uh, <laughs> they probably they deserved it. it. They might have deserved it. <laughs> hey, somebody. And she needs to go sign whatever. up for NXT. You know, I'm just saying, you never know. Uh, I mean, yeah. look. Um, Kim, Kim, Kim Malky, the, the coach. You I know, don't like that woman. I, she I, hates I, Hey, but 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 for real, I think she kind of she kind of told us what what happened because she she did kind of vaguely say you know she's getting back to work and she's staying uh, getting focused. So she's she kind of so t- that's it, it was vague, but it was like mm-hmm. it was kind of telling us that she she wanted uh, Angel to get focused on being a student athlete. That's what then I she think. told us that she did. It was none of our business. 
But can, but can we keep it real though? We kind of we uh, we don't know, but you can speculate from everything we've seen. Like you, no, no, you no, no, are no, no, what no, you no. Mean. We throwing hypotheses, educated guess. Right, 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 right. That's what <laughs> Ooh, I'm big word. That's, that's, that's why I said speculate. That's why I said speculate. <laughs> nah, nah, speculate. I don't like that. We th we doing hypotheses, educated guess. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I, I get. The, I, I, I didn't go. I don't know what the guess is. I don't know what she did. Well, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so here's my hypothesis. So if she had the grades, then how she back already? No, no, hold on. This is my hypothesis. All right, she she's been on her her nil name, image, and likeness tour ever since winning the national championship. She's been showing appearances here and there, and by the time it's time to play college ball, you know she kind of still head is in the clouds. I'm Angel Reese national championship. I getting all this loot, you know. That's I'm doing my thing, and then. Probably coach didn't like the way she she wasn't focused because let's be real the first couple of games she played she wasn't looking to Angel Reese and she then she got one up. game hey bro she played a game you're the, and a half you're the defending national game. champion you're supposed to be you're ready to be you gotta be sure yeah but if they lost the game it wasn't just because of her no nah, it wasn't because well, Colorado no, bust that ass that's yeah, what I'm saying like it, it gotta be something it wasn't just her. It's yeah. got to be something that hasn't been reported because if it's her grades, the semester ain't over. Oh, no. That, that's why I'm, that's why I'm right. saying my hypothesis, I don't think it's her grades. I think is she she wasn't focused. She and, had a big head. Yeah, and Kim didn't like it, and, and she's like, let me bring you back down. Well, if that's the case, then I'm riding with Angel. F the coach. I ain't going to hold you. <laughs> I'm not going to hold you. They lost together. They ain't lose just her. That's not cool. True. I feel you. That ain't but cool. If that's to, what it is. But, but also, it's different. Like if you if you if she's supposed to be the leader of the team, man, because you never know what the dynamic of the team is now. So she could be the leader, and if the leader is slacking off and not at date game, like you got like that's kind of smart. I agree with it because you gotta hold your top, the whoever's supposed to be your best player, Count. you know, be accountable, just like the the, the last player on the bench. Man, y'all ain't want the last dance. Y'all ain't <laughs> want the last dance, right? Oh, y'all didn't. The Bulls came in that season losing the many games in the beginning. Did Michael Jordan get benched? Wait, this is Michael Jordan, though, brother. You all know right, so what you just said? No, 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 no. You can't switch up your narrative when you want to win. No, I'm not switching. You said up your, your best Michael player. Michael Jordan is a greater player than Andrew okay. Reese. Cool, cool. I cool. I I switch my argument then. Every for the for most of our lifetime, every Super Bowl winner. That didn't go back to back. We haven't really seen any back to backs in our lifetime except the Cowboys and the, um, and the, and the Patriots. Patriots. And the Patriots. Patriots. That's only two teams. Yeah. Every other one is, is, oh, is yeah. right. The next year, none of the teams that win the Super Bowl, besides those teams that we just named, win. And most of them start off on a bad starting point. We Angle. never seen a coach. Bench the starting quarterback because of it. But it's it's different. It's I mean it's different sports, nah, different man. people to feel. Nah, man. Like, that, that that was, it's the same Rogers woman that it's the same woman that wouldn't have Brittany Griner's back when she was over there locked yeah. up. See, that's what I'm saying. See, see nah. I, get what your, I get what your axe to grind is. Drew. Yeah, nah, like, man. I, that's not but cool. What I'm saying is <laughs> that, still, that, that still doesn't change the fact that if your best player is slacking off and she's and her head is not focused and you know you want to be in contention in the at the end of the year, you gotta stop it now. You gotta best the five then. So let me add, let me Why ask you, you this. Now? Cause she getting the most money. So let's flip the narrative, yeah. right? So if mm -hmm. it was Caitlin Clark, do you think they would bench Caitlin Clark or sit I don't her think down? Caitlin Clark would ask like I'm, Andrew I'm Reeves, when I'm, when I'm, though. I, that's no, I'm just saying, like as a star player, if she was wilding out. I don't think uh, you, I don't think that Caitlin Clark would ever wild out. <laughs> nah, I don't. I'm just saying You're hypothetically. Saying I don't think she wouldn't yeah. either. I'm just saying because he was saying you got to bench your best player if if she's wilding out. So, never mind. Yeah, I don't think that. Okay, I'm not gonna say. Like, like, I don't. I'm not gonna say it's race. I'm saying it's just she. The coach is just a pure piece of. Yeah. All she cares about is her is her record. Phil she Jackson don't care about these girls. Kobe leaving. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Kim, 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 something else, dog. Kim, Kim something, something else. else. She don't but, care about these girls, man. And no, I, I, no, I get that. I'm, I'm not disputing that fact, and I agree because we, we, we talked about that on the show. You know what I mean? And I mean, I looked more into it, and you're 100 percent right. I'm not saying her motives ain't all the way screwed, but as far as what she's doing in the present, she's saying like if Angel Reese was spiraling down the road where she wasn't being the best version of herself as a player and stuff like that, then it wasn't a bad idea to venture. Now, 
the four games, excessive. I would have benched her that one game and then maybe made her sit out maybe one game and then she's back to it. You know what I mean? But she knows Andrew Reese better than all five of us. So, I, you know what I mean? It's nothing we can, I, I, we can only like, you know what I'm saying, you know, have, like I said, educate how powerful this because we don't really know what the situation is. But we do, like you said, Drip, know the coach's track record as far as how she treats her players and stuff like that. So I get what you're saying. Man, kill Malarkey. <laughs> he didn't change the name to Malarkey. <laughs> he got something rolling over in the grave. Anywho. That was my that was my boo. Anywho, let's get to some NCAA football real quick. Um this is this is championship weekend, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. We got, we got some big championships going on. Um, let's go around the clock to everybody real quick. Wild card mine, which you which one are you looking at? Hey man, I'm gonna be real. Uh, by the time this airs, um, we'll see the result of that Washington Oregon game. Uh, mm-hmm. that, but to me, that one's a, a very key game uh, because I think if uh, one, two, three, and four, uh, Michigan, uh, uh, Georgia, at, Georgia at one, Michigan at two, Washington at three, and Florida State at four, if they all win. I think they're all in. Uh, but I think uh, Oregon, they already lost to Washington. They they want to get back. So Washington's on upset alert. Ooh. Who, who do you got? Who do you got Ooh. winning that game? And it was close the last time they yeah. played, too. It was or, Oregon, Oregon, Oregon's favored by 10 points. Well, if Oregon oh, wins, no way. Kiss, if Oregon, really? Yep. Yeah. Oh, I, oh, I'm about to go make that bet right now, dog. If Oregon wins, Bo, then Bo you, Nix can, is... you can kiss the Pac-12 chances in the playoffs goodbye. Oh yeah, it, you, don't, it, uh, you don't think if Oregon wins, they're in, right? No, no, not over Alabama. No, no, no. Wait, oh wait, Alabama has to win to get in. But both of them gotta win. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. If I, if Alabama wins against Georgia, then Oregon ain't got no, no chance. Right. Oregon in. ain't got no chance. Oregon don't got no yeah. chance really of getting in either way. Yeah. Um, Florida, Florida State can get bumped for if everybody else wins. If they know wins. they know that's not a high priority pay to watch team after the quarterback went down. That was that's true, true. Yeah. But but they still yeah. got to handle their business against Louisville. But if right, they, they do. Yeah, they're in because they're undefeated. You can't leave no undefeated team out this. Out this Shit, you shouldn't. But when you know when you know what the product they're gonna put out, it's not what that product we saw for eighty five percent of the season. And we see what it we see what it looked like la- even last week. They just squeaked by Florida. I'm with you. You right. You right. But I'm saying that's not fair to Florida State if they ran the tables even after losing a starter quarterback, that 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 be real shaky to deal. I hey, I agree with you. Life ain't fair, but you know, <laughs> money talks. He said the hell with them. I'm trying to watch somebody else. <laughs> I ain't I'm, trying to see this struggling ass team. What I'm hey, telling you is, hold up, hold up. If, every, if, if Alabama win, you couldn't make a case that Texas would go over them. They beat Alabama. That's uh, what I'm about to say. He didn't beat Georgia. He didn't beat Georgia. If, he didn't be let, Georgia. if y'all let me. Everyone, if everyone else wins, well, Michigan is season over. Georgia season, if they win, and if Florida State wins. Now, nah, Michigan, Michigan plays Iowa. Right. Okay. Well, again, man, their season's over. <laughs> Since Iowa's not about to beat them, <laughs> we know that. Yeah, Iowa. Not about to happen. I, Iowa's <laughs> offense can't put up more than fifteen. That's what I'm, I'm telling you. They're not about to beat them. And the Pac-12. I mean, the Big Ten is not letting that happen. So I'm then you know. So <laughs> we, know, we know that Georgia. If Georgia, Florida State, and Michigan win, they... hey man, you better blow that right whistle, man. Nah, we ain't putting high win them. <laughs> if those three win, and Oregon beats Washington, Texas or Ohio State is about to jump over them, and then and it won't be no Pac-12 team in the in the final four. Mark, you, my you think? Mark my word. right 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 now. Oregon Oregon's ahead of I, Ohio State right now. How could you put? Huh? You said what? Isn't Oregon ahead of uh, Oregon's ranked number five? And five, yeah, but they, eight, so eight. so Texas seven, Bama's eight. Yeah, we've seen wilder things happen. Yeah, if they beat true. them close, if they beat them close, and Texas whoop whoever they play, I'd yeah. rather I'd rather see Oregon in there than um what's when than Florida State. She just don't want to see Florida State. <laughs> right, he just don't like Florida State. <laughs> he just don't want to see. I, it. Hey, I, 
I, w- I want to see Florida State with the with the quarterback in there. Right. But, they had oh, a nice you, connection. You, 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 yeah. You, 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 Without the quarterback? Yeah. It's this a diff it's a different team out there offensively right oh, now. No quarterback? Man, get him out of there. So if Florida State <laughs> loses, then who then, okay, so if Florida State loses, let's say everybody else see. wins. All hell can break loose then. I want to see Washington. Yeah, they got they gotta win. And Georgia Alabama, of course. I wouldn't mind seeing Bama in there neither, but I, I really want to see my no Phoenix hell in there. no. Hell no, no, no Bama can't can't jump three teams. Hell no. Nah, if, I if, feel if they lose, if, I'm saying if it, it wouldn't necessarily be jumping a bunch of teams because if I'm saying if Florida State loses, but everybody else wins, then Oregon loses, Florida State loses, Texas win, and Alabama would like I said, like. You don't still don't think Alabama jumps over them people? Uh, it's gonna be tough for them to jump Texas because they lost to Texas. Yeah. That's the only thing. If, 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 if Alabama it's beats Alabama, Georgia, though. they're jump. They're, they're jumping. They're jumping everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they jump everybody, and it's Alabama. Like and, they, they and Georgia stays. And Georgia stays in it. Do they? Though? Yeah. 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 No, yeah. You can't. You can't take Georgia out. I think Georgia stays in there no matter what. Even okay. Though. So let me ask you this question: If Michigan, Washington. And Florida State wins, and then Georgia loses. How could you justify Georgia staying in? Dude, they're staying over Alabama, even. Hey, I don't wow. know. I'm well, happy Alabama to see Georgia them. out. Don't I'm happy to see Georgia out of out of there. Don't hey, hey if no. that happens, move hey, Michigan I, to I, number one. Hey, I I ain't even thought of that scenario, uh, Mike. Me neither, because you uh, you've been you've been wrong all year talking about upset alert. <laughs> That's why you ain't thought about it. Let me get back on the show, man. Um, the Big 12 and the WWE got a big collabo. Um, briefly, Wildcard Mar, you are four corner boy host. Hey, hey, that's big for the Big 12. And hey, look at TKO keep making these money moves, man. Uh smart, man, because you know they're gonna uh uh whenever they win the, the championship, whether it's Texas or Oklahoma State on Saturday, they're gonna walk out with the with the big belt with a little logo on the side. So it's a good look, man. Uh, win win for both both parties, bro. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, so they're they're sponsoring the, their championship week joint. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's hey, can up. I add something real quick to that? They also doing something with the the SEC as well. They got like a pro. They partnering with the SEC to do something as well in the near future too. So you want to see some WWE oh. logos and stuff? Oh, y'all wrestling people people that was hating on wrestling. Be back. 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 Moving on, moving on, man. Moving on, real quick. Um, we got the NBA first NBA in season tournament finals list, and from the West, we got the Pelicans, the Lakers, and the Kings and the Suns, and from the East, we got the Celtics, the Bucks, the Knicks, and the Pacers. Hey, man, what are y'all thoughts of the in game season tournament? Um, did y'all like it? I did because we saw what Draymond did to Rudy Gobert and made <laughs> really plan for this money. <laughs> Hybrid, I know your Lakers are in it. Y'all might get, hey man, y'all got a chance to get two rings this this year. <laughs> you ain't been watching these games, dog. They've been really playing. And I ain't getting no two, man. Abby Davis is gonna be injured by February. What you talking about? Damn. Man, what are you, man? Like I, no. Are you jinxing them? Jinxing them? I'm not jinxing. I'm just saying. He's like, he talking about the truth. He ain't lying. <laughs> history repeats itself. History just repeats itself. When when is he? When is he? When is he completed the full season? Don't worry, I will wait. Yeah, he's not. But really you know what I mean? I, I I mean I'm I'm digging it. You know what I mean? It's some. I mean, hey, at least at least LeBron will get a he'll, he'll have a ring, another ring to him. You know what I mean? But nah. you ain't got no end season tournament ring. Hey, yeah. one know season <laughs> See what I'm saying? That's what's about to happen. That's, that's what's about to happen. That's what they're going to say. That's what they're going to say. That's what Jordan ain't got one of them joints. Hey, <laughs> G-Money, what you think about it, man? I mean, I, the teams that are in it, those are the teams that you would expect to see in the probably conference finals, possibly conference semifinals, honestly. So it did what it was supposed to did, do make those teams play harder in the beginning of the season throughout the season and give us good basketball. Like these teams are putting it want to win these things the way I was thinking it'd be more underrated team possibly popping in there. But I, I like, I like 
I like the Pelicans, maybe. Come on, Pelicans, man. Let's go, Pelicans. I've always been on your oh, back, man. Oh. And it, it's for for the East. I think it's I think it's, I think it's it's tough. The Pacers have been playing real hard in the joint, but you got the Celtics and the Bucks haven't been playing great. But they're the number one seed in the in, in season tournament, so they played the games that matter. That's what teams do a lot of times. Wild card, Mar. What you think about this? Hey, man, I ain't even gonna cap, man. At first, I hated it, bro. I thought it was stupid. But it's almost like the uh, playing tournament. That stuff kind of grows on you because, I mean, to your point, Mike, they have been playing some good basketball. They've been going at it, dog. Um, because uh, I don't know. Uh, here, here's the, uh, uh, the the pro and con about it. Because of the point differential joint, it makes you, uh, hey, man, you're going to have to really beat people uh, to to advance. So I, I know a lot of people have been hating on it, but it's actually been – been producing some good basketball, so I'm actually kind of with it now. I, I was so against it, but I'm like, yo, these dude, these cats is getting, they getting after it. <laughs> so you know, yeah. you know, my only thing about that I wish they would do is push it back further in the season a little bit. Yeah, so like some of the games are on Christmas, so that makes well, you, it know, well, you know, you know why they doing Christmas. it right now. You know why they doing it right now, Mike? They trying to at least steal a little bit of the viewership from NFL football. I don't think that I, see I think it's everybody's healthy. I, yeah, that's what I think it is. I think that I think with the NBA, I, 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 I'm just being honest, I don't think the NBA ever thinks about the NFL. Because of nah. the case, they would have moved Christmas games. And that's their thing. They weren't scared of the NFL. Even though they knew they was gonna get slaughtered, they didn't care. Cause we talked about that uh, on here when when the uh, NFL mm-hmm. announced Black Friday games, we knew that that it was going to affect uh, or Christmas games. We knew that it was going to affect the uh, NBA. I don't think they worried about that. I think to Jay's point, that it's the only time when everybody's healthy. Speaking That's of Jay, right. what do you think, Jay? Hey, Kawhi Leonard didn't played all sixteen games. Him and Paul George so far. So <laughs> hey, 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 it's doing something. Good. Hey, hey so, yeah, see, um, see, if you see to Hybrid's point, Hybrid said pushing the uh, that they'd be injured by February. If we'd had this tournament in February, he wouldn't have been in it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, I haven't watched as much as I would have liked to have watched with the end season tournament, but I have watched um, a few games, and like y'all have mentioned, it's been a lot of good basketball. So, um, I, I want to see, I, I'm I like the Pacers. Um, Tyrese Halliburton isn't getting a lot of due justice that he should oh, be getting. He's out here hooping in the in-season tournament and regular season. But um, I really think I- I'm going for Boston in a Boston Pelicans kind of championship match, man. And uh, I-, I think Boston needs to get this. But it's been some good. It's been good, man. The first year was good. So Is the final sure East versus West? I don't know. Nah, I just think it's the the – I think it is. I think it is. I think the way the bracket is. is broken down. Yeah. Got you. Got you. Yeah. Got you. It is cool on 2K. Beans. Okay. Got you. Cool beans. Cool beans. So, yes. Yeah, East, West, West. Yep. Got you. Got you. So, um, real quickly, they're talking about trading Zach Levine. Well, there's been talks about Zach Levine being traded, but there's also been talks mm-hmm. about DeMar DeRozan and um, uh, what's the, the, the hip hop uh, Duncan boy, the white boy? From the, the the Bulls, anybody? Caruso, Caruso, yeah, yeah. 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 They talk about him and uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think of Caruso when they hear hip hop Duncan White Boy. Yeah, they be <laughs> talking. They love him. They love Caruso, man. They talk. I, what they say? They call him Jordan. Him, He's the White Jordan, right? That's what they call him. Oh <laughs> shit! What? Y'all didn't hear that? I I'm heard them call him. You, you, you buying in? You buying into the social media propaganda? I'm tra- I know. I'm at. See, they've they've get they've mm-hmm. given him some wild nicknames though. No, nah, yeah. that's why I, I, crazy. I, I, I be knowing. I don't know the nickname off the top of my head, but I know that it means that they, they was all urban. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was all urban names. Uh, but those three are being talked about being traded. What y'all think about that briefly? I mean, they they, right. they, they, they link to the Lakers, right? That's why I said it. Yeah. The risk gets the risk get richer. It's it's bad because that when Demar Derozan got there, man, like they had so much, they got so much talent, and when when Lonzo yeah, got hurt, when, yeah, when Lonzo got hurt, they just they just never they could never replace him to get back right. 
I think they really need to get rid of Billy Donovan, the coach, before they get rid of anybody else. But I know they just paid Zach Levine, I think, like 200. They need to get rid of Billy Donovan. Yeah, they got to get rid of him. And they start I'm a Bulls fan. I'm a Bulls fan. Y'all be fired so, uh, coaches, man. Y'all, everybody always want to find a coach. <laughs> he, he, he's not. Did. He's not good. Like he's not. He's not. That's why. That's the real reason why Zach walked off the court. He's not letting them play with like with their strengths, honestly. You know what I mean? Like last year was kind of good, but this might sound nah, stupid to the listeners. If you're listening on on all the, I'm saying start it off. Oh, oh, excuse me. If, if you're listening to all the streaming platforms, this might sound stupid to y'all, but I don't think none of these coaches should be getting fired. If these men would be going out there shooting two for twenty-seven, <laughs> and it, and it, and then sit out sixteen games with low management, how you gonna fire me, man? How am I gonna get a rhythm to the team, man? <laughs> Anybody else got anything on this? Hey, man. But, but to be fair, I don't think Chicago really does too much low management like that. I think they really go out and play. You know what I mean? Like every game, they that's they even worse if you're gonna keep shooting two for twenty-five. <laughs> Man, they they were on a, f- a five game losing streak, and the rest of their schedule, like they next like five to eight games, they probably gonna lose all them Jones. They got like the Heat, the Bucks, Celtics, the Heat oh, twice. Oh, forget this, scratch this. The worst team in the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> the three and fifteen, Washington Wizards. <laughs> Can't nobody see that cup good. That's why they can't see it. You can see you can see what you need to see. Bill. Okay, we see it's a cup. That's it. Yeah. Man, Jordan Poole is trash. Trash. <laughs> go ahead, go on. Like, like, hey. Like, I don't, I don't hate nobody. But Jordan Poole, I hate you. Like, you going to I, I live in DC. I'm from DC. And you the reason, you won the reasons, along with the management upstairs, why I can never like the Wizards again. You tell your own teammate. I'm the star of the team. This is my team. When he's telling you, pay attention to the play, and then you don't know the play. Yeah, you see, you seen the clips of him, of him in the in the huddle, all the videos of him in the huddle, different things he's doing. He has no idea what the fuck is happening. Gotta look back. Like, or, or he just doesn't really give a shit, honestly. Doesn't care. It's probably a little bit of both. That man went to go see TCB. It ain't been the same since. <laughs> hey, Kevin, hey, Kevin Garnett was right to go off on, on uh, Jordan Poole. Because, we went off on Jordan Poole. <laughs> Shit. Oh well, yeah, but I'm just saying, like, it's, it's yeah, he's, he's got a little more viewers though. Like, yeah. like my, he went off on him because he more. said he went off on him because he thought he was he had hope for him. And I was like, bro, you tripping, KD? <laughs> hey, my thing is, is like, bro, you come from uh, a championship pedigree in Golden State. This ain't what they taught you, bro. Uh, so this that's why he got punched. Oh yeah. Oh. Trust me, it all makes sense why Draymond gave him that 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 two piece. Which is not, not right. right. He shouldn't have punched him. But still, now I'm starting to see. Oh the, yeah, huh? He definitely should have got punched. His head. He he thought he was way bigger than he was. Yeah, he, he thought he was. He was the fucking. He thought he was the reason Florida State is considered a legit championship team. Hold on, hold on. If he should have got punched last year, then what should he get this year? Oh, he should have got yeah. Debo'd out this joint. He should have RKO. He should have been. He should have been. Nowhere. He should have been in the match on Saturday. No, he should have been the main event match. You gotta let that breathe, dog. He should have <laughs> RKO, bro. Out of nowhere, gang, for real. Hey, for real. Hey, dog. Let let the Wiz mascot do it to him, man. Hey, oh hey, my God, hey, hey, hold on. hey, you gotta compile it with Kyle Kuzma saying, "Yo, man, I'm about to be one of the best power forwards in the game, bro." Nah, <laughs> no. it was it, it was a, it was a long line. He's like, if you meant anything about the greatest power forwards in the game, my name should be in there, something like that. Uh, <laughs> oh my! They bring it up without my name. Trash. Come on. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Stone Cold stun him and then RKO. He need boy. a Gunther smack, a Gunther <laughs> chop. Wow, yeah, he, he, he need the people's elbow. <laughs> yeah, and a tombstone. This I was on the docket, but I thought about this just after the last yeah. second. G is a fan of them, and he wanted to talk about me the whole beginning of the show. Where the five the go about, out. you ain't got a team, you ain't got a team. Well, you got a team. Hey, I stand by my team, yeah, and my we're in death to do, do us my, part. My, Terrible. My, my Miami Heat ain't never been this terrible. <laughs> Not in my lifetime. So you no, used well, to be somebody, a Commanders fan, right? Yeah, but we weren't this a, bad. Okay. 
The commanders weren't this bad. Jordan Poole's locker. We didn't have Jordan Poole. Yeah, Jordan Poole, different. Jordan Poole might be the worst. I'm telling y'all, somebody should just put a picture of Draymond Green in this locker and let him know, like, Hey, moving on. Speaking of bad decisions. Mm. On the corner. Josh, what is it, Giddy? Oh, yeah, Josh. Yeah, Josh Giddy. Josh Giddy. Giddy. Up. Giddy. <laughs> See, Giddy. I wasn't going to leave this off, but I can't do that. Giddy and they'll, up. And they'll be attacking me in the comments like Malika Andrews. But, <laughs> and oh, man. Josh Giddy. Giddy. <laughs> man, what's wrong with you, bro? I know you're from Australia, and you don't know, like, good night, Mike. And she, you think, right now they're saying you, she tricked you and all that <laughs> stuff. You're an NBA player, bro. They got, like, the Secret Service type security. You could have paid somebody to follow this, find out that she was going to a high school, bro, or something. I don't know what you thought you was going to get away with. Or if the, I don't, you know what, honestly, bro, I don't know what you're going through right now. But it's alleged that he's out here with the head of relationship with the uh, minor. Hannah Montana. See, don't do that. <laughs> God, slay y'all on fire tonight, boy. I'm trying to tell you, man. Um, wait out down. I, John Giddy, this is how I do with everybody, man. I give everybody the benefit of the doubt. If you watch this show, I did this with John Morant. Um, and I do this with Bryce Harper, too. Listen, man. I don't know if you did it. I don't know if you're guilty. I don't know if you're not. But the moment I found that you are, or the moment that everybody finds out you are, you should be banned for the NBA. Mm -hmm. You should be banned for the NBA. Period. There's no excuse for it. Now, if you are, if you are innocent, um, then... You go have have your career, and now you know, and you learn from your 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 mistake. He won't he won't have a better career than uh, his his um mentor Carl Malone though, right? Ooh, I see hey, the bang. I see the picture, I seen a picture on Twitter with them both holding up a trophy. I that's saw that torch. shit. <laughs> so, yeah, torch, my bad, a torch. Yeah, it's uh, that's, te that's terrible. We're talking about this. <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, why do we have to though? Like, cause hey. this man was out here getting Monta Yeah. Hey, like, look, we said we said this off air, man. Hey, it happened in MLB also. Wander Wander Franco for the Tampa Tampa Bay Devil Rays. He was a superstar this past MLB season, actually. And pictures started coming out of him back home with some underage girls. And what MLB do? What Tampa Bay do? It's in hey, back. you need to you need to, you need to go go sit somewhere and. We'll have our people call your people. Like, <laughs> we're going to dis disassociate ourselves with you. Do you much. think Wanda Franco will ever play baseball again? Um, it's home country. It's not, yeah, it's, home it's country. not looking like, Baby. not looking good at all. Okay. Not in the MLB. Well, well, technically, technically, they still investigating. So, right, right. The, what are they Wanda still Franco investigating? Uh, they the, still the Franco joint? Yeah. What? Damn. 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 They didn't find it take them a long time to find the birth certificate. Yeah, but he, 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 he didn't play it at all in the postseason, nothing. No, I get that, but if they still investigating, then how long does it take to get some birth certificate? They must got some dudes investigating because if you put a woman in investigate, she's gonna find that shit in more. Than if you pretty if you don't get who you put, you could have put Garfield the cat to investigate the damn thing. And if, if they really wanted to find out, it would have been over. How long does it take if if the, the offense is sleeping with the underage girl? How long did it take to get some birth certificates? Because mm -hmm. that's what, like, and I think I don't, I don't. I don't think you're allowed to just go get a birth certificate. Though. No, but you it's... you you probably ain't allowed to go get it. But you can go look it up in public file. Yeah. Well, well, and I, I think mean, that's to, to be ahead. fair. To be fair, they doing that down in DR where they investigating. So I I don't know right. who's in regulations or how they law works. I know how America works. So, I mean, that shit was a while ago, though. That yeah. was before the world, the playoffs. <laughs> like right that the playoffs. Yeah. yeah, we in December. That it was a minute ago. That <laughs> yeah, that, that was a minute ago. It was like September or something like that. They must be using. Nah, it wasn't or September. No, no, no. Literally, it was like a month before the playoffs. So that was Hybrid on the show. 
Nah. nah. That's what I'm here. saying. Nah, I didn't stay. Nah, he got on the show in September. September is August, around there. Yeah, it's been a mile. Either but way, I think man. That... Either way, fellas out there from the Man K Sports Podcast, be more cautious of who you're talking to. Facts. There are people out here that are trying to catch you slipping, whether it's financially, whether it's a personal game, for whatever reason. They are trying to catch you slipping. Be more cautious. Uh, but if you're one of those dudes that are freaky and you just like that type of stuff, F you. We don't condone that at all. But yeah. if you do get caught up in this situation and you really, really genuinely don't know, take a lesson and be more cautious of what you're doing and who you're talking to and being active with. And uh, yeah. Anybody else? Yeah. Wise nah, words from think, Mike T. Hey, man. I think um I think the NBA, a lot of fans are mad because Josh Giddy was able to play during the investigation. Um, a lot of players were, you know, when they investigating there, like y'all said, well, with Franco, he was separated from the team. So I think that's why a lot of people are, a lot of fans were upset about that. But yeah, I'm all in what you said though, Mike. I do think we live in the moment too. So I think people think he should be suspended because the way that it has been reported, um, that's why everybody thinks he should be. But I also think that he should probably be missing games because it is something that's been alleged. Um, mm -hmm. And I, again, I don't want to start just suspending people for alleged stuff, but something like this should be, he should be sitting out until it's proven that he didn't do it. Facts. You know what I mean? Like, I can't compare it to Ja, but technically Ja wasn't harming anyone. He just was stupid and harming himself. So how he get 25 games and Josh Giddey's allegedly had improper mm -hmm. transactions, transactions with women with young, well, not women, girls, young, young girls. So he should be sitting out. I do agree with that. I don't think that anybody that's mad about that shouldn't be mad about it. Um, but I don't think you should be using shot as the benchmark for that. But G Money, it's your time to shine, man. Hey. What that you got for us this week? Some best I got. I got I got a little a little parlay, you know. I love I love my parlays. What can I say? I can't resist a good parlay, man. I got I got well, speaking of commanders, we've been talking about them all day. I got the dolphins winning. What do you know? I I teased it a little bit. I, I put it down to six and a half. Um, one thing I did not tease Broncos, Texans. I got Broncos money line, keep the streak going out there. I got the Colts minus one, take those points, and I'm gonna go with the Bucks it's minus two and a half for that parlay. I, I can't add my Cowboys because we're already playing, so you can't do this. But, hey, also, what we got to do right now, this is a nice first infomercial right here, a little sponsorship from the show. We want to give a shout out to, if you don't know, we got a little sponsor here, and I'm going to do a little commercial. This is, this is the first one. First take here. First take. First take, shorty, right? Let's but get it. Bet, Betalytics.com. Betalytics.com. Take back the advantage from the sports book. This is sports betting simplified for y'all. Take away those hours of countless research, looking up data and all that. With betalytics.com, one click, anytime you want, thousands of bets generated for you daily. You can look at all the edge, the grade level of the bets, the bet rate, the hit rate, all of those data is right there for you. And with the Man Cave Sports Podcast promo code, Promo code CAVEMAN. Again, promo code CAVEMAN. You get 25% off any subscription you choose from, starting as low as $19.99 per sport, or if you want to do all sports for a month, $29.99. I got, I got friends to sign up for this. That's $22 pr pretty much you're paying with our, with our promo code offer here. You make that bet back within a week, taking these bets. I promise y'all. Trust me. Betanalytics.com. Trust the process. The data works. Numbers don't lie. Shout out to y'all. Hey, follow us on follow me on Twitter. I'm putting all the bets out there. Putting all the bets out there. Jay got it. My car, Mark got it. Hybrid. I don't know if you got it yet, but I'm about to get it. Everybody gonna get it. So, yes, sir. Analytics. Hey, hey I got a question. For you. Cowboys losing. Yeah, Cowboys. Cowboys are losing right now. Cowboys are oh, losing. Oh, got you. That's why. Okay. Cowboys are losing right now. Hey. But hey, you know what? 
Betalytics, anytime touchdowns. Metcalf was one of them. Got you. Hey, Lamb was one of them. This has Tony been Pollard. Deep. This has been the Man K Sports Podcast. We got to hurry up and wrap it up so these guys can watch their team lose in peace. Um, <laughs> just say. Hey, but you know who got a pick? Mm-hmm. Defensive MVP candidate, Deron Bland, baby. Yes, G, and tell them where they can find you and your Deron Bland fandom. Hey, you can find me on Twitter <laughs> at G Money Caveman. And if you don't know, I put a bet in for Deron Bland MVP with plus 1,000 odds. Let's rock this shit. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, Bert. Where can they find you at? You can find me on Instagram at Eproc the Hybrid and on Twitter at Eproc Hybrid and also on your music platforms at Eproc the Hybrid. And everybody in DC, follow my band at TOB Band and Show. Yes, yes, yes. Also, um, what was I about to say? I don't know. Jay Jones, what you got, man? Hey, Jay Jones on all four social media platforms Twitter, IG, Facebook, TikTok. I, th- I think I'm heading over to Threads. It'll probably be Jay Jones as well. Catch me, Wild Carmar, on Twitter Spaces, 7 p.m. on Twix, Twitter, whatever you want to call it. And um, the Man Cave Sports Group on Facebook. Holla at me, you dig? Yes, I will be joining back in the group soon because I'm still in Facebook halfway house. So I can't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ah. House. I can't post in any groups. Yeah, hey, keep, hey stay, stay, stay out of the Man Cave Sports Podcast Facebook group, man. You know, you might, you might cost us some, some viewership over there. It wasn't me. I didn't do anything this time. I forgot what they got me for. Oh, Wildcard oh, Mar oh. got flagged for something actually recently. Are you flagged right now? I don't even know what I got. What's your, what's your, what's your, what's your bid right now? What's your bid? Who me? Yeah, what's your bid? I just can't you go live. live. I can't go live and go in groups. I'm saying how long? How long they they? Oh, I'm gonna tell uh, December seventh. It was uh, a thirty yeah. day, thirty day drink, little thirty day, little thirty day drink. You know what I'm saying, little. Hey, y'all trying to do Facebook Live together, man? Shut hey, up. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is petty. Huh? Hey, yeah. He right. is That's petty. Right. Hey, Wild Card Mark, tell hey. him where they can find you. Your G bum ass team, my glue. <laughs> He's mad. He keeps throwing shots at me. Nah, man. Y'all know y'all can find me at IW Sports Network, <laughs> and if you need, can't find me there. Always every here, every Saturday with my fellas over here, D Man K Sports Podcast. Uh, Sundays with my fellas of uh, in the four corners of wrestling. Hey, I'm everywhere on six thirteen Frey Productions, man. You know what it is. I just want you to know, I call that I call that every here. <laughs> speaking of which, speaking of which, uh, Four Corner Boys is coming up on a hundredth episode soon. So make sure you pay uh, tune in for that. Um, it's pretty dope. Um, yes, and you can catch me. Coach Drip 304 on Twitter, 30 Coach Drip 304 on Instagram, Michael Turner on uh Facebook. Uh anything else that we got any important things to say? We said the uh Twitter spaces on Mondays. Yeah, Twitter spaces on Mondays with me and Jay. Uh weekend recap, sports weekend recap. G, tell them one more time where they can put the caveman code in, man. Yes. Hey, betalytics.com. Betalytics.com, B E T A L Y T I C S.com. Promo code Caveman. Make sure you use it, abuse it, and make that money. Hi, friend. Tell them where they can find your music real quick again. Uh, you can go on all major platforms and find me at Eproc the Hybrid. That's E P R O C underscore T H E H Y B R I D. Molly Karen, I love you. And the, we are the Man Cave Sports Podcast. Jay Molly Jones, <laughs> tell them what they can do, man. Shut the door on y'all asses. We out of here. <laughs> <laughs>